Hey guys, so it's Mike Gondick here and I got a cast of, uh, of Navy guys here with me and some volunteers. We're in Bay City, Michigan right now, uh, right outside the USS Edson. And uh, we had a little project here today, but first, before we talk about the project, I want to get everybody's name. Mark. Matt Cummins. Mark Krawczak. Wayne Pate. Now, uh, Wayne and Mark are volunteers and they're regular volunteers here on the Edson. By the way, the Edson is a museum ship and it's open to the public. Uh, and it's you can free to come on in and explore as your heart's content. Um, but we're here now, uh, Mark, Matt, and myself, we served on another ship, uh, a Navy ship, that happened to be home ported the same port as the good old Edson here. And uh, I was here uh, maybe about a couple weeks ago, and I looked at the ship and she looked absolutely beautiful. But as I looked up, I thought, wow, her antennas are not stowed <laughs> properly. When you stow an antenna on a ship properly, the radar antenna, it's supposed to be facing straight forward, right? And these were all over the place. So I, I wrote the museum and I said, hey, is it okay if I come in here and try to straighten the antennas up so she looks like a real Navy ship park? And I was told, yes, please welcome. And uh, two of my shipmates from the Canole, uh, Matt and Mark, OSs, they were <laughs> operation specialists, meaning that they operated the radars. I was an electronic technician, I fixed the radars. I figured between the three of us, we should be able to get something done here, right? So, lo and behold, uh, <laughs> mission complete. <laughs> uh, uh, Mark did. Uh, Mark and Matt both. I'm too fat. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to climb that radar antenna. I'm too old. But these two, they climbed the antenna. They straightened them out. Uh, they uh, tied them down so they're not going to. At least the lower one is not going to move anymore. Uh, so, gentlemen, I, I, I hope it meant as much to you as it did to me. So now. When we come by and see this ship, uh, we're going to see those antennas pointing straight forward like they should be. Tell me where you. Tell me about your trip here today. Well, I started in Two Harbors, Minnesota, yesterday, and drove to Mats in Holland yesterday, and Holland, Michigan, and three-hour drive over here. Just an adventure. And after this, we're going salmon fishing out of Holland. I can I go? <laughs> <laughs> and I guarantee you, every time I come here from now on, the first thing I'm going to look at. Is some beautiful squared up radar. <laughs> I love it. I love that it. That ain't no kidding. <laughs> and, and Mark, right? Yes. Mark, tell me about uh, about your story. Tell me about real quick how uh, how you came to start helping on the ship here and well, volunteering. Live in Midland, about a uh, half hour away. Uh, the ship came here in 2012, and I was in Minnesota. As a matter of fact, working at an oil refinery, and I retired back here in 2017. Anyway, my uh, sister brother in law brought me here for a surprise to see the ship it was in 2014, 2015, I was home on a visit and was coming every two, you know, two, three times a year just to look around stuff and got talking to some people, uh, got curious about volunteering and from that day forward, been volunteering ever since. And the coolest part about it is if you volunteer, you get to go where you want, when you want. And there's no roped off areas and for as, you think a destroyer small compared to a battleship or an aircraft carrier, well, I got news for you. There's more places to investigate and explore than you can shake us up. Wayne, tell me about how you came to, to volunteer on the Edson. Well, and you have a military history, too. Oh, yeah. I, I live down in Toledo, Ohio. Um, I was bringing the ship in here years ago. I was one of the UP all the time. I stopped back talking to him with the guy here. And I retired from him four years ago. I'll be up there volunteering. I come every week when they're, when they're open to the water zone. Take my shots. And, but, uh, served on two different destroyers from Gary classes before one went to Vietnam, then we were in the North Carolina. Wow, that's that's great. Uh, th and thanks for everything you do on board the Edson. Uh, Matt, Mark, and myself, as I mentioned, we served on board the USS Canole, which was a Knox class frigate, and she was home ported uh, right alongside the Edson here in Newport. And of all those ships that were tied up in Newport, the Edson's the only one still standing, or that we haven't sold off or scrapped or, or sunk. Sunk, sunk. Yeah, our ship was sunk. So uh, we've got no museum to go to, so I'm gonna adopt the Edson as my as my new Navy home. What do you think? Buying a shirt on my way out. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, so uh, on behalf of uh, Navy veterans and, and uh, wonderful volunteers, uh, guys, thank you so much for You're helping welcome. with this project You're today. Welcome. And we're on the uh, outside on the pier of the USS Edson, and we'll see you down the road.